Welcome back everyone, it's Husa 57 here. We are back on Dark Souls 3 on the Xbox One with our very next part, part 23 of the walkthrough, full game walkthrough. And this will be from the main bonfire here in the catacombs of Carthras, or Carthrax, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, I probably butchered that, but anyways... Uh, so today I am joined by Neo Maximus, as you've seen him in the last episode. And unfortunately, there is basically only one main bonfire for this area. So I do apologize if the titling between episode 22 and episode 23 is a little bit confusing, but that's okay. So we got the first half of the area's items. Now we will be getting the second half. So we wait for this roly poly giant annoying ball to go by and run like hell into the rats the good thing is the ball will kill the rats for you so yeah that's a thing now we need to get all of the items for this area and there's a giant rat that comes over from the left don't worry about him quite too much uh for our next little Thing, this will be very interesting because slime makes a appearance here pick up those titanite shards and then while we deal with the slimes quick tip for you if you have any fire weapon or you have uh, anything like charcoal pine resin or the bundles or anything now's the time to use it because slime takes insane damage from fire so just to keep that in mind, you can basically, like, four hit the slime if you're using that on a fire weapon. Or if your weapon naturally is imbued with fire, that's, you know, a good way to do it. Little tip for those of you that did not know. Uh, of course, you have the pinwheel skeletons here, and Neo's already killed them. Uh, there should be another one. Yes, Neo left me one. And since I still have this fire damage, why not? So these guys are annoying, but they're nowhere near and as annoying as they were in Dark Souls 1. Thank God, because those were, like, just terrifying. Uh, there's more slime here, so we're gonna run and pick up that ring, and then deal with these couple slimes. There's another slime behind us now. At least you can stun lock the slime into oblivion, so you literally never have to deal with them. Watch out, because you can still be invaded in this area. It happens quite a bit. Now we won't be going through there just yet. We will be looking for the passage up gonna run into some annoying enemies so go ahead and put a weapon buff on this guy needs to die immediately because he throws those little not fire bombs but like dark soul bombs and then you have this assassin nope he won't reanimate he dropped me an item and i got souls for him so we're good on that and you have this archer that just loves to pelt you with fire arrows there's a trap right there so avoid that two items for you to pick up got that titanite shard from killing him we'll have one more assassin down here and this one might yeah this one's gonna reanimate like I said, just watch, and if you don't get souls when they die, you know they're going to reanimate. Grab that. Grab the item right here, which is the Grave Warden's Ash. So that's another ash that you take back to the Handmaiden, and you get additional items. Awesome. We all love that. Two Titanite Shards and another one of those Assassins. I thought I was going to get a backstab, but it didn't work out for me. 
Wow, he dropped me an ember and a whole bunch of goodies there. I'll take that. Alright, so here we go. Go through the cave. Is that guy going to be standing right here? At first I thought this guy was somebody that I needed to talk to. Because he kind of looks like he would be an NPC when his back is facing you. But he's not. And we'll get this item right here, which is three of those yellow bug pellets. Got a couple more items to get for this area. Got these skeletons that animate on you. There's a nice soul right there. You can pull this lever to access this ember right here. That opens a gate, which gives you this shortcut back to where you are. And basically, there's a couple black bug pellets, and that's pretty much it. Um, now, once you go over this bridge you're basically going to be going to the boss fight. So that will actually be in the next episode, in episode 24. I will basically just leave it off right there. Uh, but there is an NPC if you come all the way over here uh, that you can talk to. It's the same NPC. So uh, this is the same one that you talked to earlier. And basically, she's just... Uh, you know there she's the one that leaves the prism stones so that's just part basically of the quest line um in case you didn't know that she was over there that's you know a thing she's actually over there so i will see you all for the boss fight which will be the high lord if you have any questions comments anything like that make sure you leave a comment otherwise go ahead and smash the like button remember to subscribe for more content and i will see you all next time